People have explored the exterior of the ship and photographed it well. One of my goals in making the film was to essentially take the audience in a time machine and put them on the deck of the Titanic. You could say, this is real. You are there. I don't see what all the fuss is about. It doesn't look any bigger than the Mauritania. You could be blasé about some things, Rose, but not about Titanic. It's over 100 feet longer than Mauritania. Coming in for a landing on the boat deck of Titanic, and this is what it looks like. This is, these are the officers' quarters here. You can see the glass is still on the windows. The handrails are still on the walls. And uh, it's in a remarkable state of preservation here. We actually see our main characters in the film actually enter the ship through this doorway. And this is what it looks like inside, which you can see it's really a mess. There's not too much that's really discernible there. All the furniture has been swept away by currents and so on. This is the grand staircase, what remains of it. We, but this is the footing of the, of, the, of the grand staircase. And you can see the remains of it. There's not much left of it. This post right here that we're going past mm -hmm. would be the equivalent of this post uh, sorry, this post right back here. This would be the first thing that a passenger would see entering the ship. And the first thing that we saw, two perfectly preserved wooden posts. We went, wow, it's still there. You know, here's a better view of the, of the whole um, staircase area. You can see there's the, the A deck level, the B deck level. It just goes down, you know. And this, um, this curvature right here uh, corresponds to the curvature right there. This is what it would have looked like then. This gentleman right here, his feet would be right about where the shadow of the ROV is, wow. right, right down there. Interesting thing, you have to sort of use your imagination a bit, but there's a little blur right here. That's a chandelier that's hanging down, and we didn't notice it when we were shooting the video until we got a little closer, and you can see it tucked back in there hanging. Mm -hmm. there's a, oh gosh, there there's it a, is. A, a gold chandelier with a crisp, cut crystal bead. There's a little bit of light reflection, a little dot of exactly, light reflection. Exactly, exactly. And then um, we, we noticed that, so we got a better, this is what it would have looked like in 1912, I'll try to get mm -hmm. the bar there. And then here's a shot of it. Oh my as God. As it sits there right now, today at the bar. 75 years later. Yeah, and this was called the, the, uh, the, the millionaire suite. Here's the only known photo of that, of that suite. I think I put it on the, on the tape as well. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was done in, in the Empire style and it was very ornate and it had this, uh, this uh, bronze fireplace with marble and then we found the fireplace which still has its wood uprights for the for the mantle still intact a little wow. crab crawling out and here's the firebox still in very very good condition look at that and here's a wall sconce that's still in very good condition it's fallen down mm -hmm. but you can see the little ribbon pattern of the bronze uh, bronze wall sconce and these would have been sort of candelabra style good wiring yeah exactly there's the sconce <laughs> And there's the fireplace, as it was in 1912, and you can still see the marble. Incredible. Yeah. Now this this was this was a really exciting moment when we when we found these doors. Um, and this is the remains of a uh, of a, a dividing door. This would have been the door that one would have entered, coming on board the ship. You know, Molly Brown, John Jacob Astor, they walked through this door because this is the starboard door. And when the ship uh, docked in Cher Cherbourg uh, in France and took on those wealthy American passengers coming back from, from the seas and in Europe, um, they would have come through those doors. And this is what the doors looked like then. You can see the bronze. Is that what I think it is? That's the bow of the ship. And, the, and knowing that the bow was fairly intact, I actually wrote two critical scenes, or two very important uh, dramatic scenes that take place right at that bow railing. I'm the king of the world! <laughs> That looks almost too good to be true. I know. That shot looks too good to be true, <laughs> yeah. but it's real, isn't it's it? It's real. 